Welcome back to another episode of rambling about random shit, I guess? I'm not gonna count this as anything. This is just Jazz and I, like with Arjun last time, just talking about manga or anime that we like and that we want to talk about specifically because they just stand out in some way. But yeah, for this one, we wanted to talk about, as the title already suggests, The Climber. Currently just a manga, no anime. In my opinion, one of the best, or no, uh, if not the best manga I have ever read. I don't know definitely. what the ranking for Jazz is. Jazz, what did you have? Where did you have this manga at? It's definitely high up there. It's definitely, I don't think, I don't know if it's like beating like people, like people probably have like Chainsaw Man and like Berserk and shit like that up there. But mm -hmm. I feel like it's definitely, I, you can probably argue like top 15 to the top 20, I feel like. Mm -hmm. It's really, really good. The art, good, everything's good. Really, really good. Yeah, so for those who don't know, let me just, you know, give a brief uh, you know, summary, whatever, about of the story so you know what it's, this is about. This, you could call this a sports manga, kind of sports drama psychological, somewhere there. It's a seinen. For those who don't know, seinen is for, demographically for boys or men, whatever, that are, you know, older than uh, 14 or 16 years old, I think. Like, it's definitely you're not a kid anymore like you this is not shown in stuff this is more for adults a seinen and just for the basic premise the basic story the story follows a student at a, like he a new student at a school pretty reserved introverted no goals right and he meets a couple people that are into climbing wall climbing specifically and he just realizes this is something that you know is fun something that in his life finally makes you know, makes him happy in some way at least so he starts going solo, climbing, and as the, as the story progresses, he wants to climb things that are even higher and higher, uh, until he starts mountain climbing, specifically like snow, snowy mountains, uh, Mount Everest and shit. I know the Mount Everest isn't uh, a mountain he uh, ever you know, aims for, but there is this one for those who might know, a mountain that is like in the manga, but in real life also called the K2 which is supposedly even harder to climb, like specific routes are way harder. So people, I think, if I remember correctly, I read this up, I might be wrong, but I remember this, reading this, that no human ever has done this before. Yeah. So no one ever achieved uh, this climb. And this manga, you know, is about him becoming better and better in the end, trying to climb the K2. Will he be able to do it or, or not? You have to find out by reading. We don't want to spoil anything right now. We will get into spoilers in a bit, but if this is something that sounds interesting to you, check it out. Fire Ass MC, good cast of characters. Mori's life, like Mori's his name, like shit happens, you know, drama, you know the deal. Check it out. But it's not your traditional sports manga or sports anime, definitely not. I guess we can now go into spoiler stuff, talk about stuff we liked, disliked, maybe some things, you know, worth mentioning. I'm going to give you the honors, Jazz. Yeah, so I, I mentioned before, like, just starting off, like, what, you know, what grabs your attention is definitely the art. I feel like it def definitely ramps up throughout the story. Like, True. when it first begins, like, the, uh, it's, you know, it's still good. It's, like, it's nothing bad or nothing like that. Like, once you get to the part where Mori is, like, really, like, when he's, like, climbing, like, even, like, when he climbs, like, his first mountain, like, not even, like, the snowy ones yet, but when he starts mm -hmm. climbing, like, uh, like, that one that's kind of next to the school, just, like, seeing how, like, he does like the muscles the faces you can see like how like really like tense and like you know hard it is to really you know to climb especially like when he's you know, mori like it's kind of in the name he's trying to do it do it by himself and this you know it's definitely like a you know it's a hard difficult thing so he, i feel like the art really portrays that once you get to the snowy mountains though I feel like the art really kicks it up a notch. Like, mm -hmm. like some of the sceneries is really, really, really beautiful. Like, not even like the mountains. Like when he like be climbing stuff, he kind of just turns around, and just looks at the view. Be amazing. Really do be amazing. Um, yeah. I, and I, I do like how as well. Like towards the end, um, like that's when the art really is kind of like hit its peak. Like he like he's in his bag now, basically. <laughs> and it kind of turns from uh orchestra not orchestrating but like illustrating uh the mountains and stuff like that but like to the actual eternal struggles of mori mm -hmm. 
um, and showing him how he's like kind of fighting within himself. That's kind of where the drama plays in as well, where he's like fighting within himself to do this or to do that. It's really like, and some of it can be kind of weird too when you're looking at it, but like it just fits. It just fits so well. Yeah, and even when he like he, uh, he illustrates things like lust, um, him Mori dealing with lust, him dealing with love as well on the other end. Um, with jealousy, people like um, doing like very, very bad, very bad stuff to him. A lot of dickheads in the story as well. <laughs> but seeing how, seeing how like he deals with that as well, like it illustrates it really, really well. The art is definitely unique in that regard. The author just knows how to portray uh, certain emotions, certain uh, internal struggles. I, I don't think I've ever seen a manga do it the way the climber did. Like that definitely felt unique. You were reading this, and you know, I don't know. It, low key you felt like Mori just you know feeling something that you never seen before never felt before <laughs> but the, obviously for us it's just the art Mori is struggling for real that bro has had no had definitely hadn't had a you know, regular life but yeah apart from the art I can add something here that I liked it's it's as you said the whole internal struggle like the drama aspect here Mori's character development like this manga is all about at, at least like at first loneliness you know being alone are you able to go through life all alone what is your purpose in life like this is one of the big themes Mori goes through this whole story trying to really find out what he wants to do why he wants to climb mountains what is it that he really wants in life and the people around him also push him to his limits in a lot of regards a lot of people die but this is all just you know part of part of life basically if you for some reason still are, are here you know thinking like don't know like you never read it and this sounds interesting to you definitely something you should check out if, if, even if you're not into sports like that, into mountains, if you're into, you know, well-written characters, well-written protagonists, this this has to be manga for you. There is no antagonistic force, really, I think. Like, you can, you can have, you can, you can say some characters have, like, you know, go against him or some shit, but it's, yeah. just, it's not really like that. It's not a shonen. This is just really focused on him. He is the, the guy. So, I guess... It's like... Yeah. It's like I guess like within the arcs there is like a more of like a main person for sure like oh uh -huh. uh, like like this person's gonna be like the main one like kind of antagonizing him but and when you, once you finish a story like I feel like like there's no antagonist that kind of like leaves an impression and I don't think that's the, a bad thing because that's not the purpose of the story yeah so and even before the recording we are thinking about because we did it for ajin what other manga are like this like maybe maybe you maybe you we, we tried to find manga that are maybe sub popular that are kind of like this but we just couldn't come up with anything maybe we just haven't read enough or watched enough yet but i mean for anime i watched almost like i, I checked man like almost 400 shows or maybe if i if i count the dropped ones it is more than 400 and for manga it's probably around 50 it's not it's not too much right like there are people who read way more but even then with this experience over the years that i gained i still can't really think of any show or manga that is kind of like this there are other shows that are about you know self-acceptance finding out who you are you know individualism whatever terms you want to throw in all of that coming together like this I don't think so. This is, in my opinion, a very unique experience. I was reading this. Really, yeah. I, I I don't know. I, I just couldn't stop reading. Like I was on the bus at home, at school, somewhere. I was like with my phone there, and I just couldn't really look away at at times. Like some of these arcs, some of these mo chapters are really hitting. I don't know. And I saw people like online because I have a TikTok. Right, I, I made a couple of posts. There are people, you know, as always, coming in, calling it overrated and shit. I just know they had never read it then. Uh, it's it's the same thing here. It's definitely not overrated at all. Absolutely it's not. I don't, I don't even think you can even make that judgment based on this one at all. It's crazy. Yeah, but I mean, it's similar to, like, let's say Monster, right? Monster is critically acclaimed, just like Berserk, just like Vaga, Vagabond. And then you see people like, this shit is mid. This shit put me to sleep. Like, stop lying, right? Actually read it. <laughs> Please actually read and give it a chance. Because I, I, I almost never see this. We, I, like, I went on Mal, even like while reading The Climber, just to see the reviews. And there aren't as many reviews as something that is like super popular. But all the reviews that are here, there are like more than 20, I think, maybe even 30. All of them are positive. All of them have high ratings because it, you can't really hate it, except for maybe if you hate 
sports like climbing or if you hate character focused manga but then why would you read it it has psychological in its theme kind of kind of weird thing this this manga is not ranked like 57 on mile for enough i would just say some people some some stuff is overrated maybe yeah you can argue but for this one i just don't see it this is one of those where i will be defending this manga non-stop but yeah, apart no, from fire. that it, it is fire yeah but i think there isn't really too much to say here anymore i think we covered the most important stuff is there anything you want to add jazz maybe something i forgot mm, no i think it's even most of it all i feel like once you do i know at times you can be kind of get kind of a lot because like the way they be um mm -hmm. kind of going into his like the way he's like handling things and his emotions the tribulations he has he's having to overcome make him definitely become a lot but once you finish the story it's really like damn like it's just like one of those like you, you, it's really you can't really compare it to anything else. Like once you finish yeah. that story, it's like it like I think it automatically goes into like your top 10, 15 manga of all time because I can't compare it to anything else at all. Yeah, but so definitely it's definitely like a, a unique masterpiece, very mm -hmm. very unique. Yeah, I can only speak here for myself, obviously. I I can't speak for everyone, but this is I would say one of those mangas that can be. Um, even if that sounds kind of extreme, like life-changing, like you can definitely learn something from reading this. It's like there are books, there are movies, there are just shows that are so good that you really remember them after many years still. Like, like for example, Berserk, Vagabond for many people, or for anime, like One Piece is probably one of the best examples. Here. Like One Piece, the, the, the people who following One Piece, it's like their life for a lot of them, basically. If you have such a show that like, you know as an author you did something correctly. And I would say, in my opinion, The Climber is definitely up there. Not as popular, but for those who read it, like I haven't heard anyone that says this is bad. Even the people saying it's overrated, they still rate it highly. They just say it's not as good as all people say. Like, it is still yeah. good, you know, it's no, it's no need to lie. Basically, this is all there is to say. It is hard to talk about plot specific points because there's just so much going on, especially in his like for the main character internally. And this the video would just take way too long. And it's also not really the place to talk about it because we want we just want to ramble about this show, tell you why we liked it. I can't really find anything I dislike about it. I could say that like maybe the pacing could be a bit slow at times for some people but even then like it's the pacing doesn't stay slow for too long let's just say that even for like mountain like he, he climbs mountains as i said and it can be slow at first you know the beginning but then it ramps up it gets like shit happens i think this is it i think yeah definitely read the climber if Please. you don't like it, like if you read it and you actually didn't like it i don't know i know we don't read get a lot again. of comments recently but no, comment down no. below if, if you read hear this again. Read it again. No, read it again. Or read no, it read again, it yeah. <laughs> no, and if you read it twice, then, you know, read it, we we'll read it again, okay? It's, it's basically like that. I've seen the vision. <laughs> so, um, yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, in terms of art, I will have some of the panels, some of, like, our favorite panels on the screen while this video is going on, so you can oh, see yeah. what the art actually looks like. I will add some color panels there. So, you know, because colored pals always look heat yeah next time we might talk about tokyo ghoul maybe if jazz finally oh. decides to read it maybe but yeah, probably probably something else read. we'll see we'll see jazz said he reads uh, multiple mangas currently we'll see